Hello everyone. Um, I was working on my uh, Peterson Government Steel blanks. I was going to start making something. And um, the one I was picking up had a chunk like this sticking out on the end. I used to have access to a bench grinder at my work, but I don't work at the same place anymore and they don't have bench grinders where I work. I do an entirely different job. But um, grinding all that metal down is kind of a pain in the ass. So what I was going to do was take my tin snips and cut along uh, part of that, which is what I did earlier. And then I would take my vice grips and support the metal on one side and with my Leatherman uh, pliers try to bend it back and forth and snap it, which is what I did here. What I wanted to mention about this is, if it's sitting on focus, uh, it's like a case hardening, it seems like, because the outer surface is very hard to cut into, and then the inside is kind of, I mean, when it breaks, it fractures. It doesn't, it's like a crystalline type of break. I'm no metallurgist or anything, but I, I think that, I think that's what's going on. I'll try to get this thing to focus. Uh, you can see where I started to cut. It's got serrations on the um, teeth of these uh, tin snips, and that's what was doing that. And then I gripped it, and I went sideways, and it snapped. Now... That's not going to mean a whole lot to us in picking because we're going to have up and down force most of the time. And these things are still pretty strong for side force. Like I said, it's so strong that the jaws are slipping on this on these pliers to try to bend it. And I can, I can um, produce a quite a bit of force if I have to in my hands. So that wasn't, it wasn't that I was being weak on grabbing this. I was grabbing it pretty strong. I could feel the actual plier jaws start to separate or try to separate when doing this. So this, this is some pretty tough material. I happened to grab the one that was looked like it was a go no-go gauge but who knows what that originally was on there. So there you go. Um, I only have a Dremel tool so it's going to take me a while to grind shapes into these. Uh, if you had a bench grinder, you know, like a six inch bench grinder, you can get them pretty cheap, like 38 bucks at Walmart and stuff for a Black & Decker one, um, around the $50 range. But when you don't have any money, $50 is a lot of money, uh, or even $30. I can't afford any of those. So I'm going to use uh, a Dremel tool. And I'm going to start working on uh, making a pick. Now, what I wanted to make was a replacement for the sparrows. Let me go get it. Uh, he says as he walks off into the distance, he doesn't come back. I came back. All right. What I'm going to try to make is, uh, this is a sparrow's worm, but the sparrow's reflection Bogota, that one was so good. I don't know why. The reason why I loaned it to a, a novice or brand new picker was I thought it was so sturdy that even a novice wouldn't be able to break it. Of course, we realize now that that's a wrong assumption to make. Um, so I got plenty of room here to uh, put this pattern into this pick. I got plenty of room, you know, to make that. The handles will be different. I'll just go with, you know, two pieces of metal type of handle, or I may even try. I've got a, a cheap hot glue gun. I may even try gluing some wood handles on there. I don't know. Probably go with the metal ones, uh, but I want to. I want to make one of these, basically uh, a replacement 
I, I can't afford the fifteen dollars it would take for. It'd probably take more than fifteen dollars because of shipping and everything. It cost me like twenty dollars just to replace one pick, and I'm not going to do that because I don't have twenty dollars. But I do have all the materials, and I have tools. Maybe not the best tools in the world, but um, it's like Mem says in UK Lock Sport. Don't just sit there and theorize. Get out on a bench grinder and start grinding. You know, I mean, it's the only way you're going to get things figured out. So there you go. That's just an update. It's the beginning. I just wanted to show you the very uh, beginning and which piece of blank material I was going to use. And other than that, it's fairly straight. Um, I want to see if you can see these. You see how that is? I think they did the uh, laser engraving on this too because it really goes down in there deep and it looks it looks pretty good so there you go that's just um, part one I guess of making a pick is um, grinding away the material the reason why I didn't want to grind it even if I had a bench grinder is um, I'd have to quench it quite a bit to take that much metal and if you can just cut you know, you might bend the metal a little bit, but you're not going to change its metallurgy. There you go. I will update you further when I get further along.